a new channel. We're the Garnet Rose Stitchers. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeanette. And welcome to our channel. This is our first video. So if we're weirdos, <laughs> bear with us. <laughs> and we're working out kinks. Okay, we're gonna do a whip parade. Mm -hmm. And we are going to talk about all things stitching. Yeah. So first things first, do you have any previous finishes? Did you bring any? I didn't bring any previous. Well, I guess I have one that's kind of a previous finish, but it's also part of a ongoing whip. <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll just show the one that I have. Um, I designed, I guess our the first thing we should talk about is our name. Mm -hmm. We're the Garnet Rose Stitchers, and I'm the Garnet part, and she's the Rose part. <laughs> I have a pattern company called Star Garnet Stitchery. And yeah, see, still trying to figure it out. Star yeah. Garnet Stitchery. <laughs> so there's the garnet. We're in Idaho, and Idaho is our state gem. Mm -hmm. And oh, garnet. garnet is the state gem. What did I just say? Idaho is the state gem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Idaho is a gem, but <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is the stitched piece. You may have seen it on other floss tubes. It's awesome. And um, this was stitched on 20, what did I say? 25 count coffee club by Be Stitch Me. Love it. That's, and it was a super fun stitch. Do you have other designs, cross stitch designs? Yeah, I have one other cross stitch design that is like a easy, um, if you hear people or kids, I have three and a husband. So just so you're warned. <laughs> um, but I have one other that's like Christmas design. And um, there's the other kid. You probably heard him. Um, and I have also a quilt pattern because I'm also a quilter. And um, yeah, so that's the garnet part. And you can tell about why. We have a rose. Why would we have a rose? So I am Bella Rose Needleworks, and I have a very small Etsy shop on um, Etsy, and I make project bags. And uh, I'm her best customer. <laughs> um, I've been on Etsy for probably two years, I think. Very small, very very small. But Amazing I also, bags. I also work full time, so I make um, I make tote bags. So here's one of my totes. Let's see if I can get it in there. That's one of my totes and project bags and I'm working on a couple other things that hopefully will be available soon. Um, but that's Bella Rose Needleworks. So that's why we are Garnet Rose Stitchers. So let's get into our uh, whip parade. I have um, a lot of whips. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of whips too. I didn't even bring them off. So we're filming at Cheryl's house and I live about oh half an hour away but we work together and in town and so I just kind of gobbled up a bunch of my stuff from home and like ah this will be good enough so I don't even know what I have. So we should probably say that we work at a, a needlework store. It's, it's Maggie's on Main um, in Emmett. We, we both work there uh, full time and she's there in the store a lot more than me but I do things a lot on the back end. Um, she's we, the quilter. She's I the do, store quilter. And I do. <laughs> makes a lot yeah, that's of true. That's true. Um, but I also do a lot of like the ordering and things like that. So if you hear us mention Maggie's on Main, it's because we work there. We work there. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only cross stitch store in, in Idaho, Idaho, which is so, like, it's it's awesome. Yeah, and we it's ship awesome. and all that stuff. So it's it's good times. Any whoosies. So um, I have more. Uh, whips apparently than Jeanette does oh, which see. is weird because <laughs> she's been stitching a lot longer than me but apparently that doesn't matter when you just start everything well when you first start you have to do all you have to stitch all the things and that's me apparently and so and then when you've been stitching for I'm not gonna reveal how old I am I'm not gonna do it but anyway <laughs> been stitching considerably longer yeah we'll just say that it's okay and uh, I still have to stitch all the things this is true and we have lots of FOMO, fear of missing out. Yeah, so, all the time. Happens all the time. <laughs> One thing I'll say though is with this channel, there will be 
lots of stitch alongs, lots of quilt alongs, um, all that kind of fun stuff. We're hoping to start one in maybe April. Mm -hmm. um, so like after market is over um, and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be fun. It's involving Teresa Kogut, which it's going to be amazing. Yeah. So details yeah. will come to that. Yeah. So today is where we're doing our whip parade. So you can kind of see like where uh, our stitching is and what we like to stitch. And hopefully you like what we stitch. We definitely stitch different things. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, not always. I, st I stitch. I don't have a style. I stitch everything. It's kind of like my house. It's eclectic. <laughs> that's why we love it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So if it's I like fun. it, I stitch it, basically, is how that yeah, works. Yeah, that's good. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so I'll start with my first one. All right. This is my oldest kit that I've had. I bought it 16 years ago. No, 15 years ago. How long have you been cross stitching? For reels? Yeah, for reels. 2018? 2017? No, 2018. Early 2018 is when I really started for reels. So like five years or so? Yeah. Yeah. So my mom taught me to cross stitch when I was like 13 years old. Yeah. That was like... Don't... You are not said you weren't going to reveal. I'm not going to reveal. <laughs> Several decades ago. Okay. So <laughs> I bought this kit... It's a dimensions kit, um, and I moved it around with me all this time, even though I cross-stitched. A friend at work taught me how, and I just sort of stopped because life just got in the way and stuff, and I just didn't do it. And then I finally decided to start this, and it is called Geisha Beauty. I love her. She's so pretty. Yeah. It's a dimensions gold petite. It is an outer print chart. I have it in a Jeanette bag. Oh, <laughs> this is actually the first thing I ever bought from you. I think it was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Funny story. And then when I walked into the store and you freaked out because it was you. It was <laughs> I was like, oh, <gasps> so my bag maker's here. <laughs> it's really funny. So here's my whip. She's super pretty. And I, um, I her face. I know. Like, wow. they don't mess around, you guys. These are super fun. And this is stitched on the, the Kit Floss, Kit Ada. I think it's 18 count, yeah. 18 count Ivory Ada. And I did a lot of this um, like around New Year's and stuff like that. Like I, I picked her up and I was just like, I wanna stitch you all the time, so I did. Okay, so I have a question. Yes. Okay, so I've seen people do this where they sew fabric on the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. I've explained that. Okay, so I like using 11 by 11 Q snaps. And when you get a kit like this, they give you a super small piece. Like, I mean, you can see how tiny it is. So what I did was, is I sewed some scrap quilt fabric uh -huh, I see. Okay. on so that I can I fit you. it within this, this is eight by eight or no, it's 11 by 11. Yeah. Right? yeah. I could fit it within the 11 by 11 and then I don't have to move my Q snap. Ah, yeah, okay. Because I didn't want to have to do that because I saw someone in the store that was doing that. I'm like, why yeah. do they sew the fabric on there? Yeah, and that was purely because I had something in my eight by eight cube snap. Really smart. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to have to try and make it work in there either. So <laughs> anyway, so that's why I do that. Um, and I've done that on a few other pieces. Um, yeah. So this is Geisha Beauty by Dimensions. So I started this one a couple years ago. This is um, Silver Creek Samplers. Um, I didn't know. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, this is my Christmas list. Yes, Christmas, Christmas list. list. Okay, so hold on, bear with me here. Yeah, Silver Creek Samplers Christmas list. And I love it. I love that. Okay, so I'm stitching it <gasps> on. What is that? Okay, I'm all about the sparkly fabric, so don't judge. I, I love opalescent fabric. And so this is their 28 count um, opalescent wren. And so I started stitching. Now, here's the thing. We have a big red pickup truck. And yes. um, I'm jealous. I started stitching this and I'm like, you know what? I think I really want. Oh, to change it to be a I red think truck. I'm, so I. <gasps> So I'm redesigning this little part here, which is probably why I haven't continued anymore, to make it a red truck. 
So. We'll talk. So we'll talk. But yeah, I know someone with cross stitch uh, design software. <gasps> oh, well, maybe you could introduce us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, N my next one is uh, by um, Joyful Expressions. It's called His Name is Jesus, which you probably that. have heard of this um, around on Floss Tube from different folks. Um, you get this free when you sign up for their newsletter. I love that. So funny story, I started this last year for Lent, and I got pretty far. And then, <gasps> you did? Mm-hmm. I got, like this year, I can, picked it up and continued, and I got all the way down to, like I did all of this and got down to I Am, and I was about to start Star of Jacob. So this is how it looks now. <laughs> You notice that there's no stitching. Because I had to frog it. Because, what? yeah. I the had whole to thing? I had to frog everything. I found Jeez. like six <laughs> stitching mistakes in the sense that it was like there were three threads instead of four where there should have been four. <laughs> <laughs> and I did that like six times. I love it. I love it. In multiple places. Like it wasn't like it was just one word that was totally messed up. No. It was like everything was messed up so i this will be a restart i love your progress <laughs> but i consider it a whip still because i really want to do it and i have it i have i i consider frogging part of the process everybody the frogs. frog came to visit me last week so hopefully he wasn't at your house because he was at mine he's always at mine. so house. i am stitching this on 32 count Again, I don't have all the specifics, so I will have it next time I work on oh, it. I love your colors. But these are the colors I'm using. It's a picture that's plus. I know that. <laughs> and I'm using these colors for the stitching. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be super pretty. If you have questions about what colors specifically I'm using, you can always just message us. I super love it. Yeah. So that is my whip that got frogged and it will be a restart. <laughs> but I still count it as a whip because it is. I'm also changing where I started, so I'm not stitching the same place again. Oh, start in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Because before I started in the corner and that was my mistake. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't don't be me. Don't <laughs> start <laughs> Don't start on the edge. Okay. I think we've you know what? I think I commend you for tearing it all out. Because at that point, I probably would have been, okay, like, chucked it. This like, is, chucked it. I'm done. This is going in the timeout drawer, and then I would have pulled out a completely new piece of fabric and just started again. Jesus didn't want me to. Okay. So I started this one. <gasps> I started this back during COVID, when COVID started. So this is Land That I Love by Teresa Kogut, if I can get it in there. And I absolutely love it. Um, and this piece of fabric, believe it or not, is my own, it's just a coffee tea dyed. Oh, you did that? Piece of fabric that I had from home. Yeah. Nice. And so. I um, love the, to the coffee tea. So believe it or not, I've actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, Cheryl. It's cool. It's giant. All right, it's, a giant it's really big. But your um, border matches. Yeah. My border. Oh my gosh. Let me It's like you. half done now. Right? <laughs> I know. So I have learned over the years that. I have to do the border first because as much as I love how the border looks when it's done, it's it's the part you don't if like. If y'all know, if you know, you know. Because yeah. it is probably the most tedious part and then it's the stress of going all the way around and then, and then not meeting. praying that it meets up at the end. Yeah. And so I always do my border first. Yeah. And then I get to do the fun part, which is all the little motifs in the middle. Yeah. And so I... All the houses. Yeah. Look at that. He doesn't want to do that. Yeah. And yeah. so I love it. <laughs> okay. So my next whip is a gift that was given to me. This is also in, oh, I should say, sorry. The, his name is Jesus. Is a Jeanette bag. Oh, shameless plug. No, it's, it's really true. I did. Yeah. That's fine. This was actually made for our, our exclusive at the shop oh. for the Maggie bag. Yes. And I, yeah. Okay. Yep. And this is also a Jeanette bag. <laughs> that's squished and you I'm, don't buy any of my bags ever I'm your like I said I'm your best customer <laughs> it's cool um well I'm sorry everything has to have a bag 
Well, and they all have to match. Okay, I guess they yeah. don't have to match because that's probably not a hair. It does. Powder. It is not, but it's okay. Anyways, so this was given to me by my friend Laura, and she's the sweetest. And she went to um, Acorns and Threads over the summer, this last summer in 2022. And while she was there, she bought this exclusive for me. It's by the Blue Flower, and I am stitching it with. Uh, the called for DMC mm. because I'm only stitching the top drum part and then I'm going to still make it into a drum but I'm going to do like embroidery stitches along the side of the drum using like a brown flannel or something like Ooh, that. That sounds cool. So I just wanted to make it a little different so that's what I'm doing. So <clears throat> that's the plan. So I am stitching this on see I left my book somewhere else that has all the information <laughs> in this. Um, I'm using the DMC, which I think I said, but this is Olympia by Mystic Fiber Arts, Mystic Fabrics, Mystic Fabrics. Yeah. So, um, so this is how far I am. What count is that? Do you know? I think it's 36. Yeah, it's pretty tiny. Usually I do 30, wait, is this one, one thread? One thread over two, mm -hmm. DMC. <laughs> okay, your turn, Jeanette. All right, all right, so she, showed um the maggie okay so i figured this would be a good segue um we made these bags for maggie's on main when they came out with their exclusive kitty and me designs yes kitty and so i will show you her give me a moment it's here it's so cute yeah and so this is maggie designed exclusively for maggie's on main and um Pamela Kellogg does the best. She just, so I just love Are her. you stitching that with all the called for everything? I'm with stitching fabric. it with all of the called for everything and she is stitched on 28 count. She, most of her designs are on Lugana. So mm -hmm. um, she is on. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. She's on 28 count Lugana. And dang, I gotta get used to this. Hold on, there you go. Oh, she's even got sparkly. Yeah, she's on 28 count and I'm trying to remember what color it was. I don't know because I don't think it's the called for. It's called Silver Moon. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. It's called Silver Moon. Um, so that's the color there. Maybe I guess maybe that does work better. And then we can I don't know. Close. No, it's too high. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're so there we go. Stupid. We're newbies. <laughs> if we Stay with tell. us. <laughs> so you can kind of see that now. There you can see that it's blue. That it's blue. Well, okay. So the other thing is we hope that the lighting is okay in my house i have a lot of yellow bulbs so we're trying really hard to it's natural lighting <sighs> yeah so we're trying guys it's also like dark and it's winter yeah exactly so. so the one thing i'm learning though going forward is and i promise for the next video i will be much better prepared with fabrics and yeah me too fabric type i like trying like, to remember it I, i'm I, like oh I'll remember i know what i stitched on um, mm -mm. apparently not yeah i'm me Terrible either with that so it's okay so if you have questions just like, ask what was that fabric just yeah. ask and i have it written down oh and i seriously i thought i was better organized and <laughs> it's okay hence my life <laughs> so it's a hot mess express okay so this <laughs> this bag <laughs> this bag was given to me and made for me by my friend sherry my friends after that and she made me this awesome bag um using j wrecker frisch Halloween fabric because she knows I love Halloween and in this I bag that. I have a Halloween pro well I have more than one Halloween project in here the first one is a stitch along that my sister and I are doing together and it's also a kitty and me design and I have a horribly small start on this but this is called nightmare can you see it yeah mm -hmm. okay I am stitching look I have a tag oh maybe I did start this after we, I don't know. Anyway, this is also Silver Moon. Weird. Weird. Is it called for? I wonder. I'm using the DMC. Uh, I love those colors. <laughs> the DMC uh, called for colors. And I am using the, the number four Krennic. She tends to call for um, number eight Krennic, but I don't use that. And then this is my start. Oh my gosh, those needle minders. Yeah, because cats. Yeah, where did you get those? I think it was Mad for Minders. Dang. On Etsy. Okay, those are stinking cute. I think. 
I can't remember. I don't know. I, love I went through a phase where I had to have every needle minder that ever existed, especially to match my project. <laughs> my husband is like nodding over in the kitchen. <laughs> True story. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the other one in well, the bag. Yeah. And you have to have a needle minder for every project because inevitably I lose all of mine. You do? Yeah. How? I don't. They're just in they your just, project. Well, it's if I don't fun. keep them with my project, I can never find a needle well, minder. I try and have them match. So then it goes with. Oh, and then I have it separated into because I have more than one whip. So I have it in the plastic, which is not, I know, not the best. Well, what, what else is in there? Now you got to show the other. There's one. more. There's two other things in here. Because. Okay, so I also do embroidery, and this is a just another button company chalkwork chalkwork pumpkins. Oh my gosh! And I don't know why this isn't done because it's literally just back stitch. It's or I could have it be a running stitch. I can have it be whatever I want because it's embroidery. And I'm stitching this on a Moda Bella solid. <gasps> that's like a light. It's like a super dark brown color. Hold on. Let's put this on a board. That's better. Make this better. And it's super wrinkled because it's been in a bag and it's cotton. <sighs> so there's the stitching. And what's awesome about this project is it comes with all these little, oh man, all these little buttons that you stick on there in specific spots that it tells you to. And these. yeah, all those little, yeah. all the little things. Yeah, so got all those little buttons, oh, all those white so dots and such. Love that. Okay, so if it's not, I hope it is focusing properly. I don't know if it is. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna go through this whole process. And we'll be like, this isn't in focus. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, Jeanette, by the way, <laughs> we have to do this all over because nothing's in focus. <laughs> Okay, so this is my oldest whip. It's called A Haunting Household by Glendon Place. And this is also, I am part, I'm doing Whipgo. And this is one of my February pulls. Okay, what's Whipgo? Whipgo is a bingo board where you get rid of whips, hence the name Whipgo. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And it's done by, it's the brainchild of Jesse Marie Does Stuff on, I think she's on Instagram, she's on FlossTube. These There's are for those that don't know what whip go is. Right. And um, she's on Facebook. Um, There's a Facebook. This has been languishing. And it's annoying because it needs to just get done. Because it's like so close. Oh guys. my gosh, girl. Finish it. I, okay. So back in the day when I first started really cross stitching again, I was all about that stitching with the housewives life. And this is on tea dyed Monaco. Mm. 28 count Monaco that has been also had writ dye in it. Oh, cool. Yeah, and um, I think part of the reason why I have not finished it is because I don't, I think I don't like stitching on Monaco as much as I used to. So it's, I changed my needle out and stuff to try and try a different needle, and I think that's helping. So my goal is to finish this before October. I have it on my board like three times because... Oh my gosh, you're so close. I know, it's dumb, guys. It's just dumb. Finish. I, I I need to just finish it. <laughs> Hence the whip go. Just finish. <laughs> right. Okay, so. so this was my this was my first Kitty and Me Designs I love it. pattern that I bought. And so one of the gals, we have a cross-stitch group that comes in the third Saturday of every month. It's just an open, open sew. Group. Fun times. It's actually a blast. That's and how I met you. Yep. I forced and you to come. We're kind of a, we're kind of a rowdy bunch, but it's, it's fun. It's really fun. So, so if you're in the area, yeah, third Saturday of every month. Third Saturday of every month, open so bring whatever you're stitching, come yep. in, hang out, mm -hmm. we drink fun coffee times. and laugh. And honestly, we don't get a whole lot of stitching done. It's cool, but it's all good. Yeah. Anyways, um, one of the gals that stitches there, she turned me on to all the kitty um, and me, all the kitty and me. And so this is Ladybug. So she was the first one. Um, the first pattern that I ever got so of um, Pamela Kellogg's and are you gonna do the buttons I did not okay so yeah see there's um, buttons sometimes the kitty and me designs they have a Jabco button or like a treasure by Mill Hill mm -hmm. on them um, it just depends I didn't oh. have it at the time 
I it's like done. Shh. Just okay. Shush. I'm, I'm shushing. <laughs> There's no no more. Okay, anyway, so, and, oh, and she was talking about Olympia earlier. So this is the Lugana Olympia. Olympia. By Mystic. Uh, by Mystic Fabrics. You need it in your life. And so you really do. And so this is her. And so this is Ladybug. This is Ladybug. And she's almost finished. And she was asking about the button. Um, and so I modified the pattern just a little bit on her forehead. Up mm, here. Mm -hmm. And so the button actually wouldn't fit. So I actually, I brought the stitches down and I just kind of Chill. rounded the top um, up here. Yeah. Anyway, so, it's but so she's, cute. I mean, she's so close. So close to being done. So, yeah, you're fired. So I know, no judgments here. I hear you. <laughs> Back. Anyway. That she got, or she made me for Christmas mm -hmm. out of cinnamon and cream by Fig Tree. And her workmanship is amazing. Oh, well. And then she also gave me this little mini pouch to go with. And you had to have a floss bag. It yeah. has to have a matching floss bag. Yeah. And it holds um, all the Krennic. Um, this bag holds Cathedral Woods Goddess by Mirabilia. Okay, so how many Mirabilias do you have? Started? Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll find out. You guys tell us in the comments how many, how many I have. How many are there? I think it's like six. Oh, that's not, that's not too bad. Something? I don't know. Yeah. And then this is, let's see. So this is, it's like I have stuff on me. I'm using the called for DMC Krennic and Silk. It's, she's already sparkly. I am doing this particular one. I am doing the Krennic and the Silk at the same time. Like I'm stitching it all at once. And then when I get to a certain spot where I can do a, a section of beading, I'm going to do that. Cause I have this on a scroll rod. Hmm. Um, I stitch on scroll rods, cue snaps and in hand sometimes. Um, my stitches look horrible usually. So I tend to not. <laughs> not. No, if it's stitched in hand, Oh. I can tell the difference when I stitch something in hand versus when I had it. I can see that. With tension. Just with tension. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I get that. So that's that one. I love it. I think that's all that we've missed. That turquoise is amazing. This yeah. color. I just, that color. So these are the, yeah, these are the flosses. That's... Oh, about the fabric on that one. <laughs> Sorry. So it's actually the called for fabric that I writ dyed because the called for fabric is 32 count country French latte linen by Wichelt, but the fabric is boring and plain. So I slapped rip, rip, I say rip dye, rip dye. <laughs> I slapped rip dye on it dye. and it was like emerald and some orange and brown. And I just kind of so awesome. made it look like the fall, like mm -hmm. look like a That's woods. So cool. Cause she's cathedral woods goddess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just wanted it to be a little different and the lighting is terrible. It's nighttime already. So the, so I'm sorry if you can't see the, the fabric very well, but next time, hopefully we'll be able to do this. We'll get during better. the day. We'll get better. Yeah. It's and fine. figure out our camera. It's totally settings. fine. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all good. Your turn. It's all <laughs> okay. Oh, look, it's your bag. Oh, look. Oh yeah. You had a bag. See? Huh? I do. <laughs> yeah. Shameless plug. Yeah. yeah. So here's this one. It's not shameless. She works. makes amazing bags, you guys. The workmanship so, okay. is amazing. And so, I would, I'm not saying that because she's my friend. I'm saying that because it's true. Funny story. So when I, this was, I think this was back like almost right before COVID. And people had project bags, matching matching project bags for mm -hmm. all their projects. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And yeah. so I didn't have money to buy a, a new project bag for every project I had. And so I made them made them. Is that how you came to be? That's how I came to be. And man, my first project bags were awful. It's like my first quilt. They were so bad. Sh yeah. But you know what? They were so bad. I still have them. a couple of them. Hey, but you know what? They no one sees so, those. They were so bad. Well, they will now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It. So what's the project? Okay. okay. So this one is, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay so one thing about Jeanette is she has she has her uh, business Instagram and she also has a personal Instagram. And she always has her floss looking amazing on there. Like, <laughs> look at that, you guys. And mine looks like a hot mess. Like it's I just, literally just, it's like my hair. It just got thrown in there. And look at, 
She's amazing. Okay, I've had my Instagram for a long, long time. I've done Instagram for a long time. <gasps> I'm, Ooh, pretty. I have, um, I'm every little stitching thing on Instagram is my cross stitch Instagram. Instagram. And I've had that one for probably five or six or more years. I don't yeah. even know how long I've had it. And that was just for cross stitch. And then I had another one for um, Bella Rose Needleworks for my bags. Mm -hmm. So I have two separate ones. So anyway, but this is um, Grateful Quaker by Wendy Petros um, from the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. And super cute. And I love it. I it and it's stitched on, hold on, wait, I need that thing. It's everything else, 36 count, everything else by Mystic <gasps> Fabrics. So I haven't gotten Can you very, tell I'm excited? I haven't gotten very far. Oh, it's really cute. But I love that fabric. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, this was the first one. I am pretty monogamous with my site, my fabric size. I usually stitch on either 28 count Lugana or 32 count linen. I don't know why. But this is 36. This was my first one that I stitched on 36 count and I actually really like it because I wanted it to be tight and small mm -hmm. and so I really and I'm using the call for threads and yes I'm kind of a nerd and I when I photograph I don't know why she always has really cute things. I don't know why she has cute little hearts <laughs> but no I that. love it though I've been doing that for a year I know but I, I love it know why. Well, what's the other one oh yeah. it's just okay so is it a start it's just, no it's not it's just it's a soon-to-be start oh this is um be ye thankful by uh with any door and, and she's gonna stitch that on and this will be on 28 count Lugana in fawn, but I haven't started. See, ta-da! <laughs> no, no progress. They're just all in the same progress. bag. It's all in the same. They're bag. all. At, I tried to like organize similar projects, I guess. In yeah. The same bag. So I have this giant, huge. I think they called it the Dotty bag. It's a Lori Holt. It's a Emma oh, thing. Giant, huge. <laughs> Look, hor like it doesn't horribly, even fit in the screen. No, it's huge. <laughs> it's giant. Okay, so I have this because inside I have an 18, eleven by thousand project. No, just one. I have an 11 by 17 Q snap because I am stitching, what is this called? Oh my God. Fall on the Farm by, who's this? I always get the Little House. <laughs> little House, little house Needleworks. And this is actually a work project that I need to get done. But you know, I'm also making quilts all the time and stuff too. So you're not busy doing anything I'm not else. Busy. Or homeschooling three boys. <laughs> yeah. Or anything. Oh, that's one thing I have. We can't show charts. Oh yeah, don't show charts. Yeah. So I just had to take the chart. So, okay. So I like needle minders. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So I have pick him and pardon me. <laughs> pardon me. And then my Maggie's on main needle minder, some pumpkins. But the stitching, right? So this is how far. This is uh, the fifth one. Wow. Yeah. And this is called Changing Leaves is what she called mm -hmm. it. But it's the fifth chart in Fall on the Farm. And I realized that for a whip parade, I'm not showing you anything because it's all <laughs> in the scroll. In the scroll. <laughs> like I've gotten so far that I'm that, oh, I'm awesome. that far. But I am... So let me show the charts that I've completed. And I'm using the called for floss by Classic Color Works. And I am using 32 count beautiful beige linen by Witchell. And I am stitching these all in a long row. Oh, that's cool. So I kind of stole this idea from Country Stitches. Um, one of this, one of the gals on there, she ha is doing the uh, Little House. The ones, it's the whole like town, and there's like a music store. Oh yes, like, yes, yes, yes. So she's doing like, she calls them her phases, right? Because it's building, <laughs> it's buildings, and she's doing them and she does them in long rows. And so I wanted to do this one in a long row. I thought it'd be cute because I didn't really want to do the grid. And there's nine. There's nine. There's nine. There's nine total. Total. So I'm on block five. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. And these are my flosses. I love those colors. The flosses here. I love those. Yeah. It Fall. looks kind of messed up, but 
Fall I, is my spirit animal. Yeah. So um, that's fall on the farm. You know. Love Here. Yes, that one. Oh, I don't uh, it's a little bit better, like backed up. Okay. Yeah. Like and then this is the other side, that beautiful sage. I'll think of it. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Okay, yeah, hold on. Okay, so this is um, uh, number nine in A Time for All Seasons by Cottage Garden Samplings. So that's the squirrel. And it's gathering acorns. Are you using, oh, you're not using everything called for. Uh, the only one I switched, okay, and there's the only reason why, and it's already, I already started stitching him, and so if I change the color, I'm going to have to frog everything I've already done yeah, in we're that not color, that. which I don't think I'm going to do. Yeah. I just, I wanted it to be more variegated. Yeah. And so, so, um, but this is how far I've gotten on my squirrel, and this is a uh, 32 count heritage linen. By PTP. By Picture, Picture This Plus. Plus. Yeah. So here, maybe does. Well, I don't know. It's hard to. We're working on the lighting. I the lighting here. <laughs> yeah, we'll work so, on the lighting. But yeah, he's super fun. Um, I love the working on that tail. With all the squirrels and everything. Really I'm kind of jelly. Okay, I want to well, do the turkey in this series. He is awesome. Yeah, the turkey. Yeah, is the turkey awesome. is great. Here, put so. that back. In. Oh yeah, sorry. There you go. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want you to lose anything. My okay. Notes. So the next one, I gotta find the bag. Okay. So. I went to market for the first time last year, and there I met uh, Annie from Dirty Annie Stitching, and she gave us our pre-order pre in this bag, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition, <laughs> and I needed a project bag. I love that. Because I wanted to start something new, so I added a zipper. Oh, look and, at you. And made, it, and made it a project bag, because I was like... It's a Mirabilia, so That's awesome. I need it to be big. Look at you. Yeah. Well, it you helps know. if you're a quilter because she just knows how to do all the things. I'm trying to remember what what cross stitch this is. Oh, it's this one. Sorry. Okay. Oh, man. So this one is called Siren and the Shipwreck, and there's patterns. I am not organized. I'm sorry. So this is what it looks like. It's Siren and the Shipwreck. This needle minder was a button that I cut the shank off and added a magnet. That is the, the project. And this is the stitching. So I started in the center and then worked my way toward this uh, green fin tail thing. <laughs> Mermaid <laughs> piece. Thanks. Um I'm using the called for DMC, um, Krennic and Silk, and um, what do you need? You need to know the fabric. This is a picture. This plus I see the tag. The tag. We'll it get is, better. I promise. Yeah, it's 32 count. Picture this plus fathom. Look for Maggie's on Main. Yeah. Well, that's where I bought it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So um, and. I don't know, like the fabric that it calls for to stitch her on is um, Sea Lily Linen by Witchell, and I couldn't find that on their website anymore, so I don't know if it's discontinued or whatever, so I was like, well, I probably don't wanna stitch it on that anyways. And then Jeanette, help me. If you, yes. yeah, you help, remember when I was like, which one should I do, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she helped me yep. pick this yep. up. And I love it. It looks amazing on Yeah. That. And so this was a Christmas gift in 2022 from my oldest son. He, um, he, I mean, I ordered this chart for myself. I have a cubby at work where I order things. I have a cubby too. Yeah. It's bad. It's, it's really bad. bad. Um, <laughs> it's really, it's oh, I need that. Oh, I need yeah, that. <laughs> it's a problem. Like it's hard to go in a cross stitch store and control yourself. Try working there. And seeing everything all the time. And then I'm a quilter and we have quilt fabric too. It's so bad. Yeah. Anyways, so um, my son went, my son bought this for me. And, well, there's nothing there. He <laughs> bought this for me and kitted it up with all the DMCs. And there was a little voucher in the present saying I could pick fabric. So I did. Okay. As yeah. So, so last year, Plum Street Samplers released their. This um, is, she made this. She did. Uh, this is the day. Oh, I love that. 
And I was obsessed with it like immediately. Yes, I, she was. I'm obsessed with- She says, with Cheryl, or get this for me at market. So I needed it immediately. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I'm kind of ridiculous with having matching bags. It's a problem. It I, is. You know what? It's I think you're among kindred spirits though. I would hope so, but it is yeah. a problem. It's and fine. maybe I need to go to therapy. Stitch Bag Makers Anonymous or something. <laughs> Something like that. But anyway, so I made um, I made this project bag to go with it. And <gasps> I think this is folktail. Oh my! Gosh. Oh my gosh! I'm further along than I thought. You need to get this thing done, girl. Wow. So apparently, I'm further along than I thought. So what what are you stitching this on? Okay, so this you laid you laid all the mortar for the bricks. Guys. I did, and I was super excited about doing that. And hold on, I lost my my card that says the little. Oh shoot. This looks like the same fabric that my um, Jesus fabric, or my Jesus is on. I think it's um, Heartland. Is it Heartland? It's 32 count. Fawn? It's not fawn. Something. Um, stitching. It's stitching. Anyway, I lost, apparently my card is missing. So, there's that. Um, called four threads? Called four threads. Um, and the only thing that I'm changing is that I um, love sheep. And this pattern has goats. Um, and so I am going to take this third. I don't know if you can see, it's really hard to see in the pattern, but there's actually a little goat up oh, and here. Oh, you make it a sheet? And I'm actually gonna take the butterflies from the other side and flip it and stitch it over here. I know, I just kiss so amazing. So you guys. anyway, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. So anyway, apparently I didn't realize I had done all those flowers. <laughs> apparently. You know, while. that's always a pleasant surprise, is it I'm not? Like, whoa! Yeah, okay. when you're like, oh wow, I actually did so, yeah. more than I realized. I've done almost all the bricks, so I actually have really enjoyed doing the house. Yeah. It's like, oh, the house is so tedious. I, I really liked How it. How fun. Yeah. And then I get to just fill them all in, which is the fun part. So funny story about that bag is oh. that that bag was made out of daybreak fabric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. And that's what this quilt is made out of behind us it's the best and that's what this bag is made of. <laughs> i love that fabric line i do too it's I by three it. sisters by moda it was like two or three two years ago mm -hmm. two years ago we opened in 2020 and i'm pretty sure it came out in 2021 and i i died <laughs> and i even made a little I, I made a little uh bag so as you can tell this is giant because that means that it's probably a mirabilia because it is <laughs> Yeah. Um, this one is Mermaid Perfume by Mirabilia. This is a work project. And I am stitching this on. Is this for the store? This is for the store. Okay. So you can see from back here the color that this is. This is true. I love that color. Okay, so this is this is the pattern. Hufflepuff pride right there. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so that's the pattern. It it calls for water lily linen by Witchelt, which is like this weird green color, and it makes the design look sickly. You and kinda, I and you lose the mermaid. You you lose her. And look at this plume of a tail, you guys. I don't know about you, but that's amaze balls. And yeah, I just said that. I just dated myself. <laughs> so this is stitched. This is it, this is an example of how you can stitch Mirabilia's on Ada. Okay, this is 16 count Mystic by Picture This Plus. Wow. And this is probably one of the most enjoyable stitches. I've had in a long time. Like, look at that variegation. There are blends and stuff like that, but it's minimal. Um, it has uh, water lilies, beads, and blends. There's no treasures in this. It's just, oh, it, I lied. There's a treasure. Just kidding. Do you have them in her There's, tail or something? I think it's actually. Or her hair. It's up in her hair. her hair. Or I think maybe in the, the mermaid's perfume bottle or something. I'm not sure. I. I'm a huge, ridiculous fan of Teresa Kogut. Yes, as am I. And I had a fangirl moment 
last year because I was blessed to be able to go to Stitch West in Utah. Yes. And she was there and I was ridiculous and I had to meet her. And so she graciously signed my pattern and I was so grateful. Um, but I started this chart um, at the retreat in our home by Teresa Kogut and I absolutely love it. And um, this one I know is stitched on Heritage. Yeah. This is Heritage. That looks more like Heritage. Yeah, it is. And I know that. Oh, it that's is. so pretty. And so I managed to get the border done at the retreat. What? Yeah. And so. That's huge. Here's an, I mean, they're, they're amazing. And this is um, 32 count Heritage uh, linen. And um, it is so fun to work on. Um, and I actually really enjoyed the border. However, I will tell you, I had to tear it out a couple of times to get it to match because it, I did. I don't know. You I did. did something funky. I count. I count. Counting's hard. Yeah, especially with borders. <laughs> <laughs> Counting's so, hard. They. I was told there would be no math, and apparently there's way too much math. But anyway, um, so, it was just really fun. And I will tell you, <laughs> Stitch West is amazing. It is so much fun. Yeah. But we spend more time giggling and talking and laughing and shopping and which is probably why I had such an issue with my border. You know what? We're so distracted. Yeah. It was such a blast. It was a blast. So anyway, so I'm excited to get working more on that one. Apparently I don't do anything small. I don't either. <laughs> how, far okay. did, how far did we get? Well, I'm pretty far here. So next one I got. This was gifted to me by a friend named Judy, and she gifted it to me anonymously, but I beat it out of her to find out <laughs> if it was her or not. Um, for Christmas a couple years ago, she gifted me this Blackbird book, um, Sweet Land of Liberty. She, she gifted this to me, along with the DMC, for American Eagle. Oh man, I love it so much. Yeah. And um, she also made me, it, this is actually a different bag that she made me another time. She made the bag too? She made the bag. So she made this bag for me, but she gave me this bag, I think for my birthday that year, for the next year, she gave me this I love that. bag. So I swapped, she gave me a, a different bag for Christmas, but, um, so this is where I'm at. Actually, let me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I, you know, and what can I say, right? Okay, so this is 36 count Confederate gray. I love that. Um, and this is stitched with the DMC and some over dyed threads. Even though she gave me all the DMCs, so this design has gone in timeout many times because Why? I keep counting's hard. <laughs> like it's me. It's not anybody else or the design. It's me. Um, like I've had to rip out like these flowers and stuff like a few times because they're wrong and it doesn't really matter because it doesn't attach to anything. But I know. You know the mistake is there. Yes. Nobody else would know but you. Correct. I get it. I get it. So um, even though this is on a scroll rod, you can only see part of the design, but I do have um, the design border all the way down and then this, oops, that way. And then I've started the house. Uh, Apparently we're hard doing opposite. Yeah, it's weird. Um, and so I've used, uh, I've swapped out a color because it's what I had in my stash because the color that's, the DMC that's called for, you couldn't see it on the Confederate gray at all. So oh. it was like, why am I doing the stitching if you can't see it, right? So I swapped out this color, which is also in the house and on the steps and stuff. Um, and I swapped it out to, I think, Dolphin by Weeks or something like that is uh, something. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I Good love time. it. I love it. Super love it. Yeah. This is also on my whip go and it's also a focus piece for this year to finish because this is stupid small. 
<laughs> Why is it not done? I don't know. Probably, oh. yeah. Oh, also look. Hufflepuff. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, and then there's, there's also one that's on the back because they apparently want oh, to ride along. Together. Resting witch face. Wow. I'm, I've been accused. It's just saying. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. all good. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. If you're still with us, thank you. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn. We're a hot mess. We are. It's fine. It's it's good. It's good. Okay. So, all right. So, what are your top? I don't want to say your top three because it might be really hard to isolate your favorite cross. You're a, definitely Mirabilia. That's like. Yeah, Nora Corbett. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of your top ones. Like designers? Yeah, designers. I don't know. I can't do top Can three. Can I choose? I mean, I know yours is Country Cottage, Teresa Kogut, and um, Plum Little Street. House. Plum Street. Brenda Gervais. Yeah. I have a lot. Anyway. Blackbird. And also Country Cottage New Works, yeah. which is what this one is. Yeah. I have a lot of her stuff. I had a finish I was going to bring. I forgot it at home. So She forgot everything. I need to text you next time. So you know what? You it's okay. gather up all your stuff and bring them to my house next okay. time. That's fine. <laughs> I told you I would. And then I can pet your cat. So, oh, cats. Cats. Yeah, two cats? Three. Three cats. She's a cat lady. Cat lady. And a really old, really old doggy. <sighs> what is Santa's? It's, it's Santa's Village. Santa's Village. This, it's an older country. What is that? There's like 12? There's 12. 12 Charlies. Um, it's big. Yeah, so this is Santa's Village. Um, actually, well, this is Elf's Workshop. This is not the first one, but um, <gasps> but yeah, you have some of the buttons too. And they all come with a a Jabco button. Um, so this is stitched on. So my sister-in-law and I started this a handful of years ago. We go camping every summer with our kids, um, and she wanted to start this pattern. Yeah. So we got them together Ooh, and you have the whisper and everything so i started let's see it's even like braided in the back oh yeah so i love anyway. it i'm not saying it's a teaser i just think it's <laughs> awesome so this is stitched on 32 count oaken mm. belfast linen um oh that's cute and so i started it this is the first one of of one of these series that i've done that i was going to stitch all together yeah on one thing and so i started oh and i changed out the white um, and I'm using, it's going to it be like, really hard to see, but it's like, it's sparkly. Is it like a twall? No, it's not twall. It's, um, I think I'm using, I'm actually thinking it's acrylic. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. No, it is. It's acrylic. Yeah. Okay. So I'm using one strand of white B5200 and one strand of that opalescent, just so that the snow looks a little bit more sparkly. It helps if I actually show the, <laughs> <laughs> the right way. Don't look at the back. It's fine. So anyway, so there's that one. And I... Haven't pulled this out probably in a couple of years. It's okay. Now I have that one I, of those. I have one of those. It's now fine. that I pulled it out, I'm like, oh, I know. Just See, that's the point of a, par a whip parade is to get us inspired to want to work on our to projects, wanna do, right? But yeah, I mean, you can see. Look at how many there are. I mean, there's twelve. Look at all these guys. Yeah. They're so it'll awesome. be it'll be awesome when it's done, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, it'll be really huge. It'll be huge. huge You'll finish it before you die. <laughs> we don't know that. <laughs> Wait, no. Next one I have is a Mirabilia. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. So this one was given to me by my sons and my husband in 2018 for Christmas. And then I started it on the called for fabric, which is, oh my gosh, that fabric is amazing. Twilight blue linen. Wow. But I hated it. I didn't, I don't like it because the color was too gray or something. I'm not really sure. So this is Winter White Santa. I love him. And the fabric in the picture, it looks gray because it's a gray blue. Mm -hmm. And it was boring for me. And I never wanted to work on it because I was bored. What? It's not well. It's interesting that the fabric will kind of change. Oh, I so love this bag. is a Lila May Designs bag, and they no longer do bags. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It's it's whatever. a cute bag. Anyway. Though. Love that. Fabric. Yeah, super cute. I, I was able to snag two of their bags in one go, and I was like, yeah, score. Because it's kind of like um, 
those clay needle minders that yes. are dragons that you have to like have really good internet and stuff to be able to, <laughs> to Actually, snag it. Wow, that fabric. Okay, so this is one where I slapped writ dye on it and I just blues and I think I have So this purple. is the called for fabric that you colored? That I then wow. writ dyed because I, I ripped out the stitches I had. Yeah, show that up close, that's incredible. I ripped out the stitches I had and because I had started like, let me see, like this part, which is the center of the design. And I'd gotten that far. And then I didn't want to work on it anymore because sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes the fabric, if it's not good, you don't want to work on it. It's like, it's yeah. a, it's a yeah, bummer exactly. to pull it out, right? So anyway, I decided to, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just frog what I got because I don't have that much really in comparison to the rest of the design, which is ginormous i mean he's huge right and um i just decided to start over after i dyed the fabric and i was like if i hate it when i'm done the worst that could happen is i have to buy new fabric wait so you're tearing that out and doing it again no okay no no this is the i like this <laughs> oh my god oh i like this I'm like now. your fabric is no, awesome I, when i went and dyed it i was like the worst oh, that could happen is okay. i hate it i, I have to buy more fabric i mean i know where i can get some because i work there so, <laughs> I mean, I know a place I could buy some. So I was like, well, I'll just, it, that's the worst that could happen, right? Is I have to buy new fabric and use this for something else. No, I think it's But awesome. then I was like, this is amazing. So. And once you start, oh my gosh, when you start the white, once you start that white. Yeah. So what oh, I have right now amazing. is you can mm, kind of see his beard, like how it floats off. And then I got... The backwards thing is weird. So I, this part right here is like that scarf in his beard. And then the sparkly is the Krennic. There's like four colors or five colors of Krennic in this. And um, I have three different, four different needle minders on here because I'm extra. Um, this one is an Idaho with a truck. And this was actually an enamel pin that I snapped off the end and glued a magnet. And this one's from uh owl forest embroidery before you you couldn't buy from them anymore oh i love that anyway. so that's winter white that's santa fabric. i just I by mirabilia it is still in print um during the pandemic it was one of those ones where they were having source issues with mm -hmm. um mill hill getting the included treasure because on the top of the tree right there there's a, a charm or a treasure that um, you get with the chart. You have to buy the chart to be able to get the treasure. Mm -hmm. And they were having trouble sourcing that, like getting them to send it over. So uh, Witchell didn't have it on their website for a while. So there was kind of a panic there for a minute. Like, <laughs> oh, is, is this out of print? Like, you know, yeah. and then it's not. So that's good. So if you want to stitch it, there it is. Get it now. This is from 2018. No, 20, 2009 and the reprinted in 2018. Hmm. So if you want this one, it does have an exclusive charm. So I would suggest getting it if it's one that you want. Good to know. Okay. okay so I also do wool applique. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. I know. Okay. So on camera this looks black wow but this is a navy blue flannel this is um twilight garden by primitive gatherings it was a block of the month first and then it was a kit for it was like out of print and then they brought it back again for one more round of block of the month and i was able to get a spot which was wow. a christmas miracle because I s didn't realize it was available. And I told my dad before he passed away, I told him I really wanted to do it. And he's like, well, how much is it? And I told him it was a block of the month and it was gonna be blah, blah, blah a month or whatever. And he's like, do it. So actually this is a gift for my dad Aww. before he passed away. And um, he passed away while it was still going. So this is block three out of like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, it has like a million of these berries that are like the size of a pencil eraser. 
Um, but every time I see this, I just go, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Because like seeing people complete it and seeing the completed one, you're just like, wow. Mm -hmm. Like Lisa Bonjean is amazing. She's, I can say I didn't know that quilting. Did. Quilting. Too. Oh yeah, she's like known for for wool applique. That's like her jam. And um, quilting wise, she's one of my faves. She's probably she's top mm -hmm. three for sure. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Okay. So this bag is a bag from my friend Judy who gave me the Blackbird book. And <laughs> it's so summertime. Like, look at that. With I mean, doesn't that make you want to just eat watermelon but like not right now because it wouldn't taste very good but like in the heat of summer right winter watermelon it's no. amazing okay so in this bag I have two projects I have a Mill Hill buttons and beads and this one's called citrus and it has like one Mill Hill mm -hmm. button on it this is done on perforated paper with the kit floss I think that's how it goes hey look at how smart you are I love. Oh, okay. That is such a good idea. So what I do. Is that I, washi tape? It's washi tape. So this is Lori oh, Holt washi that. tape that we have at the store. And so that's, I mean, I have more than just Lori Holt washi tape, but this is, it went with the design. So it's orange. It's got that. I don't know. They look like little fruits on the side. I don't know. Anyways, I'm weird. So <laughs> the, um, what's this called? The, the needle minder says I stitch past my bedtime. Cause that's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I am not very far on this. I've been working on it more and more. I started it last January, but I still have quite a bit to go, but it, once you start stitching it, it's just blocks of color. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of fun because when you kind of want mindless stitching, that that's good. That's fun times. Okay, so then and it's such a change of pace from like fabric. Right. Stitching on that perforated paper. Yes. I love that. Oh, stuff. and then Judy, my friend Judy gave me the bag. She also gave me these scissors. That has my name. Little scissor bob. She hats. made it. Yeah. Oh, those are so cute. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. I was like, you're so sweet to me. Mm -hmm. And it so came in fun. a cute little box with like some soap and like a thing to wash your face. It was like, it was so cute. Oops. Oh yeah, and almost every one of my bags, because I make working copies, you will find one of these mechanical pencils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I use a pencil. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, it's so the next problem. one is a hands-on design. I love hands-on design. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, ha I have so many of Kathy Haberman's charts. It's insane. Like, it's a lot. And you've only been stitching for like, Five years? Five years. Six years? <laughs> it's okay. Something. You're among friends. Yeah. Like, <sighs> stitching for reels, right? I don't have my first cross stitch because it was one of those kits that was a birth sampler that I made for my niece who is now 17. No. <laughs> she's turning, she's going to be turning 16 this year. Wow. So this is, um, you had me at Flamingo because I love flamingos. That is really cute. And it goes really good in the pineapple bag. Pineapple. Watermelon bag. <laughs> fruit. <laughs> fruit. And this was gifted to me along with this Jabco little pin. pin. And I'm using the called for uh, fabric, which is linen. It's the color linen by Weeks. Oh, look. This is when I still thought I was a Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Apparently not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Because I was apparently a Gryffindor prefect, so I should probably just give this to Laura. Yes, you yeah. should. She would appreciate it. Yeah, I should probably just give this to her. Shout so, out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, I'm stitching this with a called for floss, except for there was one that had to be swapped out because... Um, it wasn't in stock or something. I ordered all the stuff from one, two, three stitch mm. um, because we didn't have a story yet. Yeah, so there you go. I need to finish this. Mm -hmm. It's dumb. It's time. Yeah, and I even have more linen color linen by weeks in my stash. 
that I could make all the fobs and the things extra that because this chart is really cool because it has does it have more stuff yeah it has these little fobs mm -hmm. the little fobs and um this one has like a baby flamingo with a mom flamingo and like this cute fob that one there yeah those are cool yeah it's super cute your turn right. this is another uh country cottage new works again i told you i have a problem it's, it's okay. a problem it's okay so You're this one them. is from, uh, it's called Camping Trip. Oh, that's cute. And again, we love to camp. We camp every year and we don't get to camp nearly as often as we would like to, but. Do you we guys have an RV? We have a. Like a fifth uh, wheel? It's not a fifth wheel. It's a, a travel trailer. Oh, gotcha. Oh. Yeah, it's a travel trailer. Cool. You know, when I was a kid, we always tent camped and we had a pop-up tent trailer when we were growing up, but. Um, I froze to death and I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore when I camped. <laughs> Sorry. It's cool. So I appreciate oh, all of those. That? fabric? This is just, um, Wichelt. Is this done? Uh, almost. It's actually almost finished. What is missing? Um, I have to... The stars. The stars. The woman has the stars to do, guys. She has the stars. It's almost done, okay? It's Let's do this. It's almost done. So, um... Yep, so there's that. It's almost finished. And it was really fun to do, but the whole point was to put it up in the trailer and then of course like a door I didn't finish. It's cool. So, we oh, and you. I did add beads. Oh. So, oh that makes sense cuz they don't do that. Instead of like the fireflies. Instead of the fireflies. <gasps> How cute. I don't know if you can see them in there. These little guys down in here. They're these little little beads just because I I'm extra. Yeah. And I'm adding um stars. I have star buttons too. <gasps> oh, that's really cute. So I bought these Jabco, Jabco buttons that are stars. And then I think there's a blackbird. Yeah, it's right there. Oh. Yeah, in the in the chart. There's a little blackbird. He's up here. He's sitting. Oh, and there's even a little spider. I don't like spiders, but this one's okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I did, um, I bought a little bird. That's really cute. I don't know. I'm extra. Um, so you need <laughs> so I have to get that one finished. Like, <laughs> like before I go camping on our next trip, maybe I should get that done. Keep this one out. Okay. And and and, and do this. Just get it done. Mm -hmm. There's that. Yeah. So this is a Cricklewood crossing bag. I, I was able to snag it. I'm obsessed with that fabric. And I'm obsessed with Anne of Green Gables. <sighs> yes. Yes. And in this bag is a perfect stitch. Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. And Christy Crosshatch Quilts, uh, I saw her stitch and I was like, I gotta make that, mm -hmm. like, now. Yeah. So, it's perfect. I sourced everything because this is in the height of the pandemic when you could not get gentle art threads. It was like, forget it. So, I am stitching this on, this is also part of my whip go. Um, I'm stitching this on, woo, woo. Good I catch. think it's 32 count something. 36 count? No, wait. Am I stitching with one thread? One thread over two. And it's a picture this plus, I think. I think it's like the same fabric okay. as my write it down? Jesus fabric. I might have written it down. I'm so bad. I used to be so... Oh, it's right here. It's right there. There it is. I found it. I found the card. <laughs> Yay. Um... We're so called, for, called for a thread. It's a 36 count Ren oh, it is by right. PTP. Which is what I'm stitching my, his name is Jesus on. Oh, same fabric? Same fabric. Okay. Cause I think it says, it says a half yard, but I, I think it was a fat quarter. And mm -hmm. I only needed like an eighth of a, a, a fat eighth for mm -hmm. the other one. So I have way more fabric than I need for this one. It is so pretty. So anyways, these. Love it. I made this uh, needle minder. I made you one before. <gasps> yes, I do. I have it. So this is a friendship star in quilting. And um, this one is, they represent some of my friends. That's actually really cool. And you can't see it very well right now because of the coloring, but there is stitching there, I swear. <laughs> um, <laughs> I swear. So that's, I'm stitching with it called four threads. Yeah. So I know. That would be, that would, that be, would it. be it. Yeah. Okay. So this is another Country Cottage New Works and I actually think this one is pretty close to being done too, but I 
sparkly fabric. Yes, it's actually really pretty. Okay, so this is Gingerbread Cottage by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is so old, we didn't have a POS system. The lighting is not, oh well, anyways. Anyway, so this is, um, this is actually raw opalescent is the color of this fabric. And um, here, I like, I like your trick there of laying it on the board because apparently, and you can talk while I there. Okay, you should you do the showing of it. So yeah, can you see the sparkles? Yeah, Does the sparkles. You show can see a little it, bit? especially when I yeah. move it. Yeah, raw opalescent, and it's um, thirty-two count. Oh, it's so cute. Thirty-two count. That and is that is a really cute. Is that a pumpkin stitchery? Frosted pumpkin. Stitchery? Frosted pumpkin. Yeah, that's a cute. So oh, isn't that one cute? That's so cute. Frosted pumpkin. I used to. I did a lot of them. That's really cute. What is this shirt? What is this called? Gingerbread, Gingerbread cottage. cottage. Gingerbread Cottage. Yeah. I liked the pastel colors. Yeah. It wasn't it's a really traditional, cute. like, really bright yeah. Christmas, but I don't know. It's all about the sparkle. Okay. It's be sparkly. <gasps> I love that. So the next one I'm going to show you is a hands-on design that went in timeout for a long time, and I was thread <laughs> I was thinking I was going to be UFOing this chart. Then I took it to open so. And everyone was like, just finish the top part and turn it into a drum. Okay, Oh. That's so good... I'm gonna do that. This is Queen Bee Flower Farm, Chalk on the Farm. And when Priscilla of Stitching with the Housewives showed her finish of this, I was like, I must do that. Mm -hmm. And she had black Monaco from back in the day, right? So she didn't have the problem and I was, that was when I was stitching everything on Monaco. So I decided to dye my own Monaco black. <gasps> oh my goodness. And it turned out awesome. I was really sh like surprised wow. and I was like, this is amazing. Wow, wow, so, wow. But the problem is, is that I stitched this in hand and um, so you can see the fabric. Okay, so um, and it looks more rich in person, like it's getting kind of blown out. But this is how far I am, I, I said, and I'm gonna UFO it. So what I'm I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish because I have this stitch with a few random stitches I'm missing, and I have all of the silo done and most of the barn done, and I need to finish this part and then add some do stuff the flowers, here. The fence and the flowers. So I need to do the fence and the flowers, and then I'm gonna turn it into a drum and Maggie already said that she wanted it <laughs> and because I love my mother-in-law I'll probably make it for her because that is so and it would be cute. super cute to add like mm -hmm. a Jabco um like pins pin, of like so, mm -hmm. chickens or something that'd be super so cute. cute to add to the top so they have the they have the buttons that say moo oh. the m-o-o -O. oh my god you could put that on there and it says move. No, that would be hilarious. I love it. I don't know. Things. There's still time because I have to still stitch this. <laughs> okay, next. All right. Cool. Let's see. All right, I'll do two. I'll do two quickies because they're both the same. Um, they're Is both that done? Uh, not quite. Not quite done. Okay, so like percentage done. Uh, 75% maybe. These are both prairie schooler patterns. I am a prairie schooler. I'm a prairie schooler. So I went through a phase, and I actually still do. I started collecting up as many of the original prairie like schooler charts. Yeah, on the leaflets, nice. the nice cardstock. So yeah. Um, so I know I don't where to get one. Yeah, if I need it. <laughs> so here's this one. I think this is April. Yeah, this is April. So they did a whole series that was the months, and this one's April, and um, called for. Prairie schooler colors. Yeah, all the called for flosses, and this is stitched on um, 32 count um, vintage, vintage country, country mocha. mocha. I mean, like, if you don't know what that is, are you even a stitcher? <laughs> I mean, that's gorgeous. So it's hard. You need to finish that. I that know. is amazing. Stitch it during spring. I could. Well, it should be already done. Stitch it should it be now. already done. Stitch it now. So, so this anyway. is the chart. So she's stitching the big one. Yeah, so there's two. You get a, a small motif, and then you get the, the yeah. big one. And this little one is just the bunny that is in the Yeah, you can pick. Yeah. Um, 
you can kind of pick which was in the corner. And so then the next one is um, Summer Breeze. So in addition to doing the months, they also had the seasons. So they're winter, spring, summer, fall. And so this one's um, Summer Breeze by Prairie Schooler. And this one is on... Uh, that looks like you dyed that yourself. I did. This That is, looks like Monaco. It is. It's Monaco. So, you know... <laughs> It is. It's, um, there's two coffee tea to, oh, wait, what's happening? Oh, okay. So apparently she has, I didn't realize that I had two on here. So one of them's finished. <laughs> oh, this one's a finish. So this one's spring. Are you, but you, you she uses Q snaps. So that's probably why you don't. Yeah, actually I didn't. This was in hand. I stitched this in hand. Sorry. <laughs> I stitched it in hand. I did. There's no excuses for you then. I know. I know. There's not. Anyway, so so this um, is so spring is spring is finished, and apparently I didn't even bring the chart with me because I didn't know it was on there. And then the part that I have almost done is summer. That's so, awesome. Yeah, they're really fun. So so I guess I need to get on that then. You have a few. <laughs> she has so, way more like close to finishes. Oh man. Than I do. Well, um, but because I squirrel a lot, and I what? just start things. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. What are you talking? It's, Squirrel? It's true. Squirrel. Okay, so this is a work stitch. Oh, um, I have one of those too. Yeah. I should pull mine out. So mine is Summer, and this is by Little House Needleworks. And what this is, is like a thread pack where it uses uh, her Bell Swa silk. And um, I am stitching mine on Platinum by Weeks. And this is, is tinier yeah, than mine. Because I took this to market with me last year. Oh my gosh. And I put it in an, in a six by six Q snap to just work on the part that I was working on. What are you stitching that on? It's so tiny. It's, it's 36 count. Oh, it's oh 36 count. Okay. Yeah, it's 36 count, one strand of silk over two linen threads. And I thought that the Ravenclaw matched it because it's blue. Oh, yes it does. Yeah. It's perfect. So, so, um this is and this silk is amazing, you guys. Like it's the colors are amazing. Yeah, and if you haven't used the Belsoi, they're nice. Silk by Classic Color Works, they yeah. are they're pretty nice. They're so nice. They're really nice. I, I to recommend. Stitch with. So, and then I'm doing also for work, <laughs> winter. So this is the winter one. And um this is um using the Belsoi vanilla pudding. Um, and I'm stitching it on 32 count. That's why I was saying yours is so much smaller than mine. So hers is 36, mine's 32. I think Maggie- Oh, this is harder to see. Hold on. Hold Where's on. the board? It's right here. Oh. Hold on. Let's go the board, um, on. Maggie is stitching, she finished hers because she's not a slacker. But she also does, doesn't have as many whips as us. And she doesn't <laughs> squirrel either. Um, but she's finished the summer one. Because that's winter, right? Yeah, the this is winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, and I'm on, mine is on 32 count Coco by Weeks Dye Works. Lovely. So, it's really pretty. Yeah. You're almost done. I'm slacking on that one. Well, we're going to have to talk about that. I should take it back with me to market this year and, and just have it on the plane. Yeah, just get it done. It's one color. Yeah, I don't know. You can take is. it anywhere. Slacking. One stinking color. Yeah. Just get it done. I'll do it. Okay. Oh, I, I almost lost my scissors. Don't do that. Do you guys leave scissors in bags? I do. I have scissors everywhere. And then inevitably the one project I'm working on is the I, one project I, I don't, don't have, have scissors. Yeah. I have yeah. it's a plethora of pinatas. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Three amigos. Totally. My yeah. turn. Yeah, your turn. I'll go again. Oh wait, you just went. <laughs> it is my I did. turn. It is your okay, turn. so actually I'm gonna do this one first. Okay, do that. Oh, I okay, so I have like two more. Okay, I have a hundred more, so <laughs> I'll go a few times. Okay, so this is the frog. I do. I last year I participated in Frog Warts, which is a virtual retreat by Black Needle Society. But before I got my box for year three, I picked up the year one sampler and started it. So this is the year one sampler. That is so cool. It's amazing. I'm a Harry Potter freak. Can you tell? I only have like every needle minder. It's a problem. 
Okay, so oh, I am. Show your bag. Oh wait. Oh, look so at the bag. So I also bought this off of the Black Needle Society vault. They don't have it anymore. This is from the year two box, but it's Mandrakes having a party. <laughs> is that not <laughs> Hufflepuff? <laughs> I mean, I super love it. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I super so, love it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so this one's funny because it is stitched on 36 count Olympia by Mystic because that's going to be a running theme. Um, I think I that's one of my favorite fabrics. It's amazing. I use it for I love so it. many things. It's like, it's one of those fabrics that is neutral and... It's got gray and brown and tan, and it's, it's really, just, it's, mm -hmm. this is a good representation of what it looks like from back Yeah, it's here. actually pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so, funny story, is I miscounted on the Wingardium Leviosa, so I actually have to frog that. So I decided to start down at the bottom and do all of this. And I add, I'm going to be adding some back stitch because my placement wasn't the greatest because it was intended to be up here, <laughs> but because I had to restart, because <laughs> it's all right. Counting's hard. And it was one of those things, the way that this sampler is, is the word Wingardium, Levi Wingardium Leviosa is like right there. Mm -hmm. And everything is so like scrunched, scrunchy scrunch, like in there that- Is that a word? It, I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> that if you mess up on the word, too bad. Nothing you have to, else fits. It won't fit. Yeah. And I counted and counted multiple times to see if I could fudge it. And I could There's couldn't. like no room. So I have to restart it. I had to restart it at the bottom. So I just decided to start at that, uh, this part that's like the original Scholastic books, which is super rad. That's this actually is my last one. Okay, well, let me do another one then. All right, do one more, and this is my last one. Okay, because I'm. I have more whips. She also cheated and didn't bring all of her whips. Okay, well that's not totally true. That's, that's not she, totally true. That's what she kind of said. So I didn't bring all the things. Yeah. But I found there were, believe it or not, there were a couple whips that I couldn't, I couldn't find. So this is a, another Cricklewood Crossing. So I don't, I don't think I ever finished saying. For my bags, I either make the bag, or I buy one from her, or I buy Cricklewood. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I love that Mickey Mouse fabric. I mean, I have a few other bags by other people, but they don't make bags anymore. So yeah. So it's Mickey Mouse, Halloween Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. And I have Tis Halloween Stocking Book by Blackbird. And I will be stitching every single one. Mm -hmm. I love them. And I love it so much. So there is a finish on here because they're so small because I, this is called for with like 30 count R and R mm. brown by R and R is what they called for. But I, st I'm stitching mine on. Do you have one totally done? Oh yeah. yeah. I have one oh, done. Awesome. I have one done. I have, hold on. I'm trying to not show this the chart. I have this one done. It's called haunted house. And I'm stitching it, I stitched it on 30, did you steal all the boards? I think you did. <laughs> She's stolen all the boards. So I have the, no. I have the one that's all messed up. <laughs> okay, so here's the stocking. The finish. You mean these? Yeah, these she has boards. them all. These boards. She's stealing them and putting them like to the side so I don't get to use them. Okay, so the other one that's actually a whip here, and I here put it on the clean <laughs> I know, right? It's um it's on is this I don't know what this is. It's like 32 count. It's gotta be 32 count. Yeah, it's 30 something. 32 count. But it's an R and R vintage beeswax is what I'm stitching this on. And this is let me show you what the design is. Like I said, I'm How going many are in there? I don't remember. But I have a lot of Blackbird Halloween charts. This one's called Jack-O-Lantern. Here. And that's how far I am. Really cute. Um, and this is also on my whip go as a finish because this, if I, sorry. You're if so I, close. If I finish, if I just focus 
on getting this done, I'll finish it. And mm -hmm. then it'll be on my Halloween tree because I have one. And you I have a Halloween tree? <laughs> I love it. I have many Christmas trees. So much so that I sacrificed my sewing area to put a Christmas tree in during <gasps> Christmas. Wow. Well, you've got that really cool. Yeah, and I stitch on my grandma's vintage machine that the camera's standing on. Love it. Right now. Any Hughesies. So that's what I have in this bag. So do you want to be my, be my bag person? Here, I'll be your bag lady. And then um, I'll do another. Here. Bag lady. Yes. Okay. So this is Hocus Pocus bag using Helen D's um, tutorial made by me. This is also a stitch along between my sister and I. I think I'm further, I don't know. And this is a pattern off of Etsy. It is a band sampler called Hocus Pocus Halloween S Sampler. What is her name? It's like something Pluto. Play-Doh Squirrel. Play-Doh Squirrel on, on Etsy. Now, this is the floss list, y'all, okay? <laughs> That's a lot of It's no joke when you start this thing, but it's amazing. Be prepared. It's huge. It's huge. So I am stitching this on 18 count Ada. Uh, it's Monster Mash mm -hmm. by Picture This Plus. This is a really weird color or um, dye job of um, Monster Mash. It's normally got more modeling on it, like more purple. Like, look at it. See? You'll see. So this awesome. is what I got so far. So this is all backstitched in here. I have these pumpkins done. Like literally, it's a band sampler, right? Um, so I'm in the center right now doing Winifred. I appreciate it. That's okay. This is my last one anyway. Oh my gosh. I still have. Okay. Let me do another one. All right. Fine. Is it really your last one? Yeah. I feel like a complete hoarder. It's fine. It's totally fine. One of the ones I didn't bring was um, a Mirabilia because I couldn't find, I don't know where the chart is. So I was going to bring it and I have no clue where my chart is. That's weird. So it is very strange. It's not out of print, is it? I don't know. It's Guardian Angel. And I can't find my chart. So I didn't bring it. But I'll bring it next um, time. Because it's probably like half done. Yeah. I love it. But. Okay, so this is a Lila May bag. Again, they don't make bags anymore. That's too bad. Yeah. And what did she, st I wonder if they. It's all stitched. Yeah, that's cross stitched right there. Yeah, I mean the bags were more expensive because it's more labor intensive and stuff, but they're good quality bags. What is this? Wow, that's nice. Oh, I have two charts in here. <sighs> okay. Man, oh man, lady. I know. Okay, first one. It is a uh, gold collection, Dimensions Gold Collection Petite. And this one is called Believe in Santa. I love that. And so that's my, my measly start. And this fabric is so it fits in the Q-snap if I want it to be oh, in yeah, the Q-snap yeah, yeah. or um, if I want it to be on a scroll rod, it can be on a scroll rod. And then when you're done, you take all the fabric off. I and just take it off. And frame it or whatever. Yeah. Gotcha. I can just seam rip it or whatever. Yeah, that's awesome. That is such a cool idea. There was a gal in the cross stitch group yeah and she was doing that um this is stitched really on 18 count avery no ivory ada <laughs> <laughs> it's been a day guys that's all right it's fine everything's fine okay so the next one, the one is Here, a black bird it i have stuff all over the place it's all just right. like coming out of there <laughs> okay here's the chart <laughs> okay we're fine <laughs> everything's fine it's all fine. So this is, I don't remember what fabric this is. I have it written down. It looks down. like Ren. I don't know. It's more pink, so I'm not sure. So Crowning the Tree by Blackbird Designs, and I am stitching the, um, it's just one pattern of a stocking. So I, am, I love that. I'm stitching it, and I am not carrying my threads. So, all of those red stitches are pin stitches. Oh. Which is why it's taking so long. Because <laughs> once I get past that, 
right? It'll go faster. It'll go a lot faster. Yeah. Um, and this is on 32 count something by Picture This Plus. I know it's Picture This Plus. I can mm -hmm. tell. I think it's Picture This Plus. Agreed. I don't, I don't know. My kids are probably screaming. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's probably like, Are you done? Pulling yet? his hair out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do. I'm going to do a few more. All right. Here's another Mirabilia. This is an outer print chart called Queen of Freedom. Oh, it's my unicorn. Don't talk to me about it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this was gifted to me by another floss tuber. I'm not going to say who it was just in case. But she stitched it and then gifted it to me. I tried to pay her and she wouldn't accept money. I am stitching it on vintage Sahara 20 no 32 count what is this <laughs> it's Sahara yeah by Zweigart and it's like a yellowy parchment looking fabric super pretty oh I've never even held it in my hand before can I just revel in this moment yeah okay I'm just gonna it's also in here. a bag by Jeanette we did make that one. You did. That was like one of my first tags too. I know. Dang. Y'all, I have been a supporter since the beginning. <laughs> my start Maybe on this. Maybe you should get a free bag. I start. Hey, <laughs> my you did get one free? <laughs> yeah, you you did. I got one for Christmas. It, it doesn't count. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, so this is the lamest start ever because I started this on 4th of July, like two years ago, but I only got enough thread to start the center <laughs> well then I misread the color so I didn't even have all the colors I needed shoot so I need to just finish kidding this thing up it's so stupid just do it <laughs> it's dumb so but that's why there's not more progress because I I mean and she's huge because she's a queen right mm -hmm. so queens are giant yeah yeah you said that's 32 count? Yeah. Good heavens. Yeah, and it's a modeled fabric. Wow. It's hard to see on camera. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's blowing kind of a it buttery, out. It's buttery. It's buttery. It's like yellow. a buttery yellow. Yeah, it's amazing. But um the floss tuber that I got the fabric, I totally am stealing her idea and using the same fabric mm. and everything. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I have to take the chart back now. <sighs> it's all right. I had my moment. I know. It's fine. It's fine. It's all Everything's fine. It's fine. Right? It's totally fine. Okay. So I'm going to do another one and then you can do your last one and then I'll do the last few that okay. I have. Okay. So this is um, another Jeanette bag. Oh my gosh. I told you. Oh, that was one when you gave me the fabric. Yeah. And I obsessed over this fabric. I looked for it everywhere. So this is called, this is a three sisters fabric. I don't know if you realize, I like three sisters. Just a little bit. That's okay. We're getting another one this year mm -hmm. called Cascade, and I'm... It's amazing. Here for it. It's amazing. Yeah. So, I love that. So, this is Jane Hopkins, 1875. Mm hmm Yeah. I am stitching this. I have the tag in here. 36 count ballet slippers by Fox and Rabbit. You're getting better. Yeah. Well, because I... I want to remember what I'm stitching it on, right? Well, the, and I'm I'm using the Avera Swa Swa Dolge, called Four Colors, um, on the back of the chart. Um, and my husband gifted that to me oh, for Christmas. Look at how awesome those. those are so it's cool. it's so beautiful, and it's like, guys, my start is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like, th by the way. I don't think hands across the sea. I don't think Nicola will ever watch this video, but if she does, your charts are amazing. Mm -hmm. I got to figure out which way this goes because <laughs> it's like the center. I did the center <laughs> chart, the center there start because, go. sorry guys. So it's a center start. So it's literally the, um, this part right here, right there. That's where I'm at. And I, my goal is to work this direction over to the border mm. and start going up and around and doing the border. Because like Jeanette here, Borders and I are not friends. 
I have the hardest time. I have the hardest time. Counting hard. It's, it's hard. Counting's hard. Counting's hard. It's fine. Your turn, Jeanette. It's fine. You get to actually speak now because <laughs> <laughs> I have a Isn't lot of whips. Is it my turn? I have a lot of whips. Okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's good. It's, it's good. It's fine. It's all good. Yes. Hey, and I was also pat packing in a panic this morning. <laughs> I should have done it like Yesterday? earlier in the week and I'm like, I'll have time to get it all together. It's going to be fine. And what did I do? I waited till the last minute. Like she I'm worked all week. She manned the store. So, so it's fine. It's, it's all fine. It's fine. Okay. So this is probably one of my new favorite. It's amazing. Charts that I'm working on right now. Paulette Stewart is and amazing. So, yeah. She's, and the nicest person, by the way. She really is. I haven't had the pleasure, but you will. Hopefully. Someday. So this is um, This Happy Morning by Plum Street Samplers. And I just absolutely, when this one came out, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, this was one of her exclusives that she did at a, a retreat. A retreat. And then she released and it. And then it, the now public. it's yeah. available for everyone. Mm -hmm. so. And that's when you got it, was when it was yes. at the shop. Yes. And this just came yeah. recently. So. I am stitching this on 32 count Harbor Fog by Coloring Cotton. Oh, y'all. <laughs> and it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's like Live on Little, but like, it is like a red barn instead of blue okay, or whatever so that color is. Let's see if I can get it in here. It's amazing. Yeah, here we go. perfect. And so that barn, I have had so much fun doing that barn. But the one thing that's giving me heartburn right now, honestly, is... <laughs> is um is the peacock, peacock. because what? i i wasn't super originally i wasn't super in love i think it was blurry but that's okay with the colors with the colors and so i you changed it i changed it it looks good and i didn't like it again and Same so right. believe it or not you can actually see i'm starting to tear it out oh. <laughs> it just for whatever reason the call i'm using all the called for floss except for the peacock because that yellowy brown color just didn't work on the gray. It just looked, it didn't work. So anyway, I am in love with this chart. So I highly recommend this one, that barn. It looks intimidating because it's really big, but it's so fun to work on. It's super fun. So, but that's my last official. And I have, I think three more after this. So if you're with me still. <laughs> you're my hero. You're my hero. Okay. Next one is a blackbird. This is a bag that was gifted to me by Judy for my birthday last she does year. She good bags. She does. I miss her. Mm -hmm. She usually goes on Wednesdays now. Mm -hmm. Anyways. So I okay, have so this is Blackbird Designs, What Remains. And when I bought this, it was still an exclusive from Traditional Stitches. Um, last year at Market, Alma released it as a general release as part of her market releases. Um, but I bought it in 2021 when they were like still doing their releases in waves. Mm. Um, and I am stitching this on a fox and rabbit, fairly certain, as my needle attaches to everything. <laughs> now, this particular start, I, I don't it's know. It's your fox and stuff. Oh, here. I don't, I had to rip it out I don't know why I was doing this, but I was <laughs> stitching it in hand. Ooh, and you're using these. And I'm using linen oh. and silk. So I ripped it out and started over. Oh my um, gosh. But that's how far I am because I ripped it out and started you over. Should, here, show these. Show so these. these are the silks. They're oh fibers gosh. to die for. They're amazing. And they, are, they were exclusive for the chart, I think. I don't know if they still are. I don't know if I'm totally accurate in that. There was a whole like write up about it in the book. So anyways, um, that is a, an anniversary start. And this is a fox and rabbit up in the attic. Oh, I know that's what go. it is. 36 count up in the attic. One strand of silk over two linen threads. Okay. I have a plum street. This mm -hmm. is called heritage sampler. I have it in a crickle wood bag. Heritage sampler. I mean, we've all seen this chart before, right? Mm -hmm. I'm using the called for threads. My mother-in-law kitted this up for me for Christmas two years ago. Is it this one? Or was it a different one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's asking the wrong Because person. I have a good mother-in-law. She spoils me. 
So when she asked me to stitch her stuff, I'm gonna do it. So here, do you want it on here? No, I'm gonna just hold it there. So this is the start I have, and I have a counting pin in there because I'm using the over dyed threads that are called for. So I'm trying to not, um, I'm trying to complete my X's as I go. That's good. Love it. Okay, we're in the home stretch. Home stretch, people. Three bags left. I don't know what's in them. <laughs> it's like Christmas morning. It is. Okay, so I know, know what I like. I know what's in this bag. So this is a Helen D tutorial bag, except I decided to quilt it. You'll notice it's a nautical theme. And that's because it has the chart that everyone was doing in 2020 in September. Apparently I wasn't doing it. It's coming to America or women of the Mayflower, depending on who you're talking to. It was an exclusive that oh you could gosh. only get at stores who had pre-ordered it. Wow. I bought mine from Keepsakes and I had the pleasure of speaking with Barbara. Um, who owns the store there and she was super nice and it was the first piece I ever did on 36 count Wow, I didn't know it came in this cool box. Yeah, it came in this cool box Dang. This is the chart. I have made a working copy so I can mark it There's a lot of stitching in there. Oh tons of stitching tons, but and like yeah and all the words yeah. So my sister my sister and I both uh, started it using the called for threads Um I think I got the full kit, except for, even the fabric. Oh, I think I got right. everything from them because we didn't we didn't have a store yet. It was right. the only way to get it was the only way to get this was from a store who had gone to market that year in 2020. Wow. So okay, I'm um, jelly. <laughs> when I'm done, you can stitch it. <laughs> so box. I am stitching. Um, oh my on gosh, lady! Vintage country mocha. Wow, look at how much you've done. I have counting mistakes. Like, you wouldn't believe on this thing. Well, that border is ridiculous. It's actually easy once you start stitching it. It's just a lot of it. I mean, it's really Well, it's cool. really long. It's okay. A, so I'm it's stitching really this on cool. 36 count vintage country mocha, which is the called for thread. I think she calls for 40 count. 20 count. Ada is what she oh, actually count, yeah. calls for. But I did it. I didn't want to do 40 count. I was too scared. I was like, oh, that's that's scary. So I decided to do mine on 36 count. And then I never went back. <laughs> and I'm like, 36 count for life. Mm -hmm. Even if I have to wear mag eyes, I will wear, I will do this. So this is where I'm at. Um, so this is Judith Kirby's Victorian Houses. Uh, nine and 13, nine and 12, something. The only place you can buy these is on the secondary market. However, <laughs> don't black, do that. The black market. Don't do that because <laughs> there is a store that has the rights to Judith Kirby's designs. So 15. So it goes like this. If you stitch them together, mm -hmm, which is what I'm doing. So I will be stitching mine like this because Priscilla, oh, print? Priscilla, Priscilla Blaine from Stitching with the Housewife said to because she stitched it like that and I was like I need that chart mm -hmm. yesterday <laughs> so I figured out who had it I was like who has this well I tracked it down through my sleuthing skills stitch in time in Saginaw Michigan if you want these charts or any of Judith Kirby design charts. I did not know that. This oh, is who mother. you call. All right. They are lovely people. They shipped quick. And Judith Kirby has like a million designs. And if so if you she like. And they're all really cute. So if you like, you know, vintage, you know, Victorian looking houses and stuff. Like you like old cross stitch. Because it had oh, my address on it. Oh, okay. Stitch in Time, Saginaw, Michigan. That's who has Judith Kirby designs. So I am using the Call for DMC and I am using 32 count, I think. Yeah, 32 count Murky, Murky. by Picture This Plus. Mm -hmm. 
Because if that's not a Halloween fabric, I don't know what is. It's awesome. Ah! As I drop oh. it. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. All right, it's fine. So this is where I'm at. I started in the center, and since I'm stitching both the charts um, together, I decided to start in the center so that I could make sure I have enough fabric for both and then just work my way around and create the uh, the, the completed border. Mm -hmm. With there the called for DMC. Final bag. This was made with, um, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is called One Nation Under God or Liberty by uh, Twin Peak Primitives. And this was uh, stitched with the conversion by finally a farm girl. I don't remember her name. Sorry, I'm bad. But oh, she's on Instagram. And she's also on Flossy. Yeah. yeah. So I have a decent amount done. I'm going to need the big, big board the big for board. this one. So this is stitched on, I believe, sorry, sorry, <laughs> 36 counts. We're fine. Wow. Wren? Called for. Whatever is called for on this. Looks like Wren. I think it's Wren by Picture This Plus. I don't know. This pattern is like. 500 million pages, so I don't know where the key is. Oh, here it is. See, it says Oatmeal Rustico, but that's not... I think this is Wren. It looks like Wren. Yeah, Wren. Yeah. But I did it on 36 count, so it wouldn't be giantly huge. Well, it's giantly huge already. Correct. Because it is. But... And you're on 36 count? Yes, because I'm stitching with one thread. Wow. I like BAPs. <laughs> so I'm already all the way over here into this um, urn with the flower. And the flower options, the colors that are in this is amazing. Um, I have this whole grass part done until like for One Nation for under, what do I have? N under God. And then I've started the White House, which is this here, and then um, the Betsy Ross flag, which I've started here. And the thing about this chart is it is symmetrical mostly. So if you mess up, you gotta make sure that you fix it because mm -hmm. on the other side, it'll be noticeable that it's not the same. Matched up. I mean, it's not completely the same, but like, like if you mess up on the flower, there's the same flower on the other side, mm -hmm. or the swans, things like that. So um, if you get your line going straight across, this should be fine. Yeah, but um, so that's where I'm at on this. It's awesome, and you made it. It is huge. And it's thirty-six giant. count. I yeah, can't it's imagine it's it. giant. So like, it's huge. Wow, dang! And this fabric is cut to size. I think I needed a fat half. Yeah, mm -hmm. I needed a fat half, and then I cut it to size after. So it was square. Yeah, yeah. But because it's an almost square chart, it's three twenty nine by three ten. It's huge. It's a lot, <laughs> guys. It's a lot. But this is amazing. Yeah. Highly recommend this chart. So if you made it to the end, welcome to our first video. <laughs> I swear the next one won't be this long. <laughs> Not. Because we'll just talk about like current whips and stuff. But I don't know. I'd say and thank you. Yeah. You guys are awesome. We're excited. Yeah. And uh, we hope to, hopefully we can stick with it. Yeah. I think um, you've got quilt stuff to show mm -hmm. and we've got, we'll fe I'll, hopefully I will feature bags. Yeah. For my shop on the show or on the, the show. You on just say it yourself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm such a nerd. It's okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. And so we'll do exclusive stuff and mm -hmm. we have other um, announcements to make. Um, yeah, we're gonna do stitch alongs. We're gonna do fun things that I think you guys will all like. Cause we're planners and we're doers. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> we do all the things. <laughs> we might not finish them all. <laughs> I don't know about the planning. I felt a little, uh, it felt a little Yeah, I guess we didn't really. chaotic. Well, we planned it, <laughs> but we didn't, like, 
map it out. Right. We just sort of planned. Throw caution it's to fine. the wind and just kind of see where it goes. It's fine. it's fine. So we hope you enjoyed <laughs> and we hope that you'll come back and subscribe and see all the fun things. All the fun things. And hopefully none of this is corrupted. Hopefully not. Oh my gosh, that would be so sad. <laughs> Did I just jinx us? Where's some wood? <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. All right. It's so, so fine. Thanks, guys. I guess we'll see you guys next time. Okay. Okay. Bye. bye.